2 down, 160 games to go. Here's the latest Baltimore Orioles news. Player notes, starting pitcher Alex Cobb will be activated to start the Orioles' April 4th home opener against the Yankees, manager Brandon Hyde announced Saturday. Cobb was originally slated to be Baltimore's opening day starter, but was placed on the 10-day injured list after suffering a groin injury in a spring training game. The Orioles defeated the Yankees 5-3 Saturday for their first win of the season. Jimmy Yacobonis earned the win with three innings of one-run ball in relief of opener Nate Carnes, who threw two scoreless innings. Mike Wright recorded the last two outs in the ninth inning to earn the save, catcher Jesus Sucre went 3 for 4 at the plate with 3 RBI and a run scored Saturday, driving home a run in the 7th with a single then giving Baltimore some much needed insurance with a 2 run double in the 9th, injuries, SP Alex Cobb, groin, 10 day ill DH Mark Trumbo, neat, 60 day ill see Austin wins, oblique, 10 day ill coming up, Sunday 3 31st, Orioles vs. Yankees, 1.05 p.m., Yankee Stadium Monday 4 over 1, Orioles vs. Blue Jays, 7.07 p.m., Rogers Center Tuesday 4 halves, Orioles vs. Blue Jays, 7.07 p.m., Rogers Center Source, Roto World More Orioles News, the Orioles mentioned before opening day that this iteration of the roster had a looser vibe to it, one where players were free to be themselves. After Saturday's post-game celebration, that's easy to believe. Rookie manager Brandon Hyde helped guide the Orioles to their first win of the season, and the first win of his career, Saturday afternoon in New York. After the Orioles finished off the 5-3 victory over the Yankees, the significance of the win was not lost on the team. Ain't the beer cold? Beer mugs pick.twitter.com slash yjhv 2 jd 7 Baltimore Orioles at Orioles March 30, 2019 Hyde came out to meet with the media, and reporters tweeted that he appeared to be soaking wet, smelling like a bar. Now we know why. Celebrating a big win is about the only time in someone's life they'll be happy to have beer dumped on them, so Hyde was of course a good sport about the whole thing, even after being forced into a laundry cart and wheeled into the showers. It's a time-honored tradition in baseball, and it wasn't just the players getting involved. It appears towards the end of the shower, pitching coach Doug Brookale joins in the pouring. There aren't going to be many wins to celebrate this season, so it's encouraging to see the team having fun and enjoying the ups in what is sure to be a year with many downs. Also, kudos to the players for bringing Hyde into a room with drains first. I'm sure the clubhouse staff at Yankee Stadium appreciates it. All in all, this is a good, fun celebration that highlights the camaraderie this group already has with each other and their coaches. Hopefully this is the first of many wins in a long career in Baltimore. Maybe next time they can find a way to celebrate their manager that doesn't waste so much beer, though. More Orioles news, a legend remembered, the team announces that on April 6, Hall of Famer and Orioles legend Frank Robinson will be honored in a special ceremony at Camden Yards Join us for a celebration of Frank. April 6 as we pay tribute to the life. Best speakers are scheduled to include Brooks Robinson, at Jim 22 Palmer, Book Powell. https colon slash slash t dot co slash 6 gb 2 dwaushi The O's also added INF Yeltsin Gudino from Toronto in exchange for cash considerations and he has been assigned class A advanced Frederick. Carnes gets the start Saturday, RHP Dylan Carnes will take the mound in the matinee against the Yankees. The 31-year-old righty will be used as the opener in the O's second matchup of the season against NY. Injuries, SP Alex Cobb, groin, 10-day LDH Mark Trumbo, neat, 60-day ill coming up, Saturday 3.30th, Orioles vs. Yankees, 1.05 p.m., Yankee Stadium Sunday 3.31st, Orioles vs. Yankees, 1.05 p.m., Yankee Stadium Monday 4 over 1, Orioles vs. Blue Jays, 7.07 p.m., Rogers Center Source, Roto World More Orioles News.